My name is Gary the Numbers Guy. I am a numerologist that just happens to understand how the New World Order operates. And the New World Order is that organization within the organization within the organization that basically is the puppeteer and is leading our planet toward a one world government with a one world currency and a one world army. So that, you know, that's the short version. But what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to tell you exactly what to expect in 2012 because unlike what most people are telling you 2012 is not going to be the end of the world that isn't happening but expect change and I'm talking about real change not the dreams Obama was selling you in 2008 I'm going to give you five things that are going to happen in 2012 so just watch and see. First thing I'm going to tell you is, in 2012, the world will not end. It might just end as we know it right now, but it will not end. And the reason I'm telling you this is because I'm not out here trying to sell Hollywood tickets. I'm trying to tell you some false prophecy that the Mayans never even said. The Mayans were basically descendants out of Atlantis, and when Atlantis sunk, they basically said a pole shift happened. Is that possible in 2012? Yeah, likely not. But what is very likely in 2012 is an attack on Iran. You see, 2012 add up to 5. And if you add up the last time we had a five universal year cycle, 2003, oh yeah, the bombs were <coughs> going in Iran's next door neighbor, Iraq. You see, the number five stands for life, sex, and death. And you can expect wars, but the major one is the one with Iran. The major question is, not if Russia will do anything. Russia wants high oil prices that will come from a war of Iran. The question is, will China, the sleeping dragon, do something? China, a nation that is known as the dragon. And in 2012, the dragon will rise. Will confront the ego is the only question. The next thing to expect in a universal five-year cycle is a lot of sex and a lot of babies. On a different standpoint, in 2003, there was a big blackout in the United States. Blacked out New York City, blacked out where I was. I remember it very well. It happened in August 2003. 2003, a universal five-year. Expect more blackouts not just in the United States, but around the world. And the reason for this, this time around, might be the sun and the solar flares that come every 11 years, 2012. Expect a lot of communications, your cell phone, it just might not be working the way they should. Another thing to expect in 2012, the stock market. It's going to be jumping up and down. People will have no idea what hit them. The euro will be in crisis. And following April 2012, the dollar will follow the euro's path. But make no mistake about it, the death of the euro is almost at hand. In 2012, you can expect very, very strange weather phenomenon. But, out of all the prophecies, or I don't even want to say prophecies because I'm sure it's only no prophet, but of all the numerology-based numerology predictions I give you, this might be the scariest. In 2012, disease will play a big part. Because just like in 2003, when SARS struck out, out, struck up out of nowhere in Toronto, Hong Kong, expect bird flu or different diseases we don't even know about, pandemics to start. And the 
very last after China's birthday in August 2012 excuse me October 2012 the dragon will start using its greenbacks in euros to set the agenda for 2013 and in 2013 the world monetary system will change because the end of the Fed is almost at hand two thousand twelve a universal five year and remember one thing folks there's only one constant in, in the life and that's change and that describes the five to a T my name is Gary the numbers guy